All right, people, I'm telling you these things for a reason. You know, God used to tell some of Jesus used to tell some of his disciples, don't even go to Asia. You know that? Because he know the spirit of deception is so strong over there. I'm not saying that is, but I, I've been over there. I know what's over there. You understand? Just like with your kids, don't go there. Be careful there. You understand? You know, we live in a world, man, where everything is allowed. You know. And I don't think people know the deceitfulness behind it. Because let's take Freemasonry, right? They say the Freemasonry bunch is full of all different types of religion. They don't care about religion, what religion you are. Instant red flag. If they don't care about what you are, it's something wrong. But they say when you get to a certain level of Freemasonry, Eastern Star, whatever, they all the same. You get to a certain level, then you realize who you've been serving this whole time. Satan. How do we know this? Some people who are about to reach the 33rd degree got out of the game. Which they realized that it wasn't about our God. It was about their God. And they do videos about this stuff. And they talk about it. And people are like, I just don't believe it. Especially those new coming Freemasons and Eastern Stars. The star. The Freemason, the pentagram, the triangle. All these things, people. It's devilish. It's like, once you realize... Once you, I remember when I was young and I didn't know nothing about Freemasonry or nothing. And... My brother was like, hey, you know he's a Freemason. He said, don't mess with them. Don't mess with that stuff. I never knew why. But here it is. My brother, who's not even a preacher or a teacher, you know what I'm saying, told me to be well of that group. You understand? I can tell you another story. Um, one of my cousins was like, they're after me. He's like, they're after you too. And I'm like, I take heed to stuff like that. And probably a few months later, I saw the same cousin. He was like, Hey, this is my Freemason friend right here. I was like, you the one warned me. And this cousin, right now, his mind is all messed up. He was a, a pusher of Christ just like I am. Bold with it, strong with it, priest without reason. And it's like after he met that person, something changed in him. You better be careful, people. Take heed to the same one as you give. That's what he told. He warned me. He said, they after you. And I'm like, what? It's kind of weird that lately, every once so often, I get a friend request from somebody. You have been invited to join the Illuminati or uh, this special group. I'm like, why is, where is this coming from? You know, go back to another story. I was talking to somebody in the car. He's like, you believe in God? I'm like, yes, I believe in God. He's like, you believe in the devil? He's like, the devil wants you bad. I'm like, I didn't heard that a number of times from people. The devil want Christ followers. He wants you to do what? Curse God and die. He wants you to tell you there's another way to reach enlightenment. You can open your third eye. You don't need God. You can be your own God. That's one thing about witches and sorcery. They take matters in their own hands. They are their own gods. And they worship multiple gods. Just like the Bible says. Do you understand, people? It's time to wake up. People look at us when we start telling people about this stuff like we're crazy. If it's in the Bible, how else can it can be crazy? And if they believe it, how can it be false? Does it make sense? You understand? He even talked about, the Bible talks about burning of incense. You know, the Catholic Church do this. And many other religions use the burning of incense. You understand? You got to pay attention to this. The Muslims use it all the time. You got to pay attention to a lot of these things. You know, if somebody is, a, if another group other than followers of Christ are doing it, that should be an instant red flag of you not to. Especially if it's the Bible tells you not to do it. Now, listen, let me tell you something now. Some of these other religions, Muslims, they coincide with some things that the Bible says is good. Some of them, the standards are modeled after Christianity. Some form or fashion. They still believe in love, peace, all these things like that. But they go about another means of doing it. 
their lives to evil. Whenever you take matters in your own hands. That's why Saul being led in the Holy Spirit blinded this man. They never talk about him no more. He said he blinded him for a season. Hopefully when his eyes opened again, he was like, hey, I realized the error of my ways. Same way with the other sorcerer who was bewitching the people. Uh, Paul told, I mean, Peter told him to pray. Pray. Basically, let God fix you. Pray. If something ain't right with you, pray. You understand? I can't give you this Holy Ghost. You can't even receive it. The thing is, Paul was, uh, Peter was operating in the Holy Spirit. He couldn't even give him the Holy Spirit. He gave it to a lot of people around, but he couldn't even give him the Holy Spirit. Why? Because darkness was in his heart dwelling some form or fashion. Do you understand, people? Some people can't receive the Holy Ghost because of the darkness that resides in them. Do you understand? You have to, they have to reject, repent of their evil. As long as they're embracing it, the Holy Spirit cannot dwell in them. And like I said, a lot of these people in the churches... I'm not just talking about the church, but they everywhere. Pay attention. If you watch TV right now, they're they're pushing the issue of false gods, Thor, all these other things, Odin. They push this issue that much because they want the children to start believing and worshiping them in a voluntary. They're using MK Ultra mind control to manipulate kids, to buy their toys, to walk around acting like idols, acting like Thor, doing these hand signals. Even the rap industry does it all the time. It's ridiculous. I told you, WWE, watch it. Today is Monday. Or on Monday or anytime you watch wrestling, watch what symbols they throw up. And watch how often wrestlers represent Christ. Not much. I'm just paying attention to y'all people. I mean, I'm just trying to open your eyes to some things. Am I saying these people are truly, truly evil? I'm saying what they do is evil. They can be fixed too. You understand? I, I got a dream that God would create, allow a person that pushes Christ to be on the big screen in wrestling. I would love to see that. It's like they'll make a a dead man, Undertaker. They'll make this type of person. They'll make this type of person. They'll make a Muslim. They'll make this. But they don't want to make a Christian. I understand. I'm like, don't you find that kind of weird? No. Why I don't find it weird? Because the Bible says we will be hated by all mankind for his name's sake. Like I told you, even in the video, even though I don't like the statue, he couldn't even bring himself to say the name Jesus. He's like, we all know who that man is right there. Couldn't even say Jesus. That's who it's supposed to be. But he didn't even say Jesus. Wow. Pay attention, people. You see, the prince of the air, air waves. You understand? Am I telling you to not watch TV? I'm telling you to be careful. I'm saying to keep your arm on at all times and don't feed into this foolishness. You know, I believe entertainment is entertainment. And it's not too much you can watch now without seeing evil. You can't even walk this world without seeing something that's going to vex your spirit because the Holy Spirit resides in you. I'm not telling you to turn your TV off. I'm telling you to pay attention and tell your kids the truth. Tell them, hey, this is real. Don't mess with it. Call on God. Seek God. And everybody that says God is not talking about the same God as you. Have a blessed day.